We're going to use a black marker here to mark the holes inside the ATM. We do not want to drill through the ATM. It will cause dust and debris to travel up and get inside the dispenser. Now that we've done that, we're now going to move the ATM so we can drill our holes. We're going to grab our drill and our drill bit after we found a working outlet. Very important here is when you begin to drill, don't go in, don't go all in, all the way. You want to start with a quick, a quick couple of pulses to get your hole started, because what will end up happening, sometimes your drill bit will slide and you will miss your mark. Once you get a good hole started, then you can continue to drill all the way through. If it starts to get hard to get through, you want to pull the drill up and then back down to get some of the concrete dust out of the hole. Now we're going to set our drill aside, grab our shop back, and suck up all this debris. Shop back isn't required, but it's the easiest way to clean up and you can get all the dust out of the holes. Now that's done, we're gonna move the ATM back over the holes. Here I'm moving the grommets. One has a hole in it and one does not. I have to move the one with the hole on the other side for the cable. Lining up the holes with the ATM. I'm going to grab my screws now with my impact wrench. Before you sink your first screw in, you just want to start it and make sure you start 
each one all the way around before you sink them all the way in. Sinking one in before sinking the others in could cause the ATM to shift and then you may not be able to get one of the screws in depending on how well you made your holes in the ground. Once you get all four partially synced in, then you can continue to sink one in after the other. There you have it. How to bolt down an ATM.